And this is Billy Core once again with the Latitude CPI. Um, earlier, um, you saw me unbox it, and I did reformat it. Got rid of Windows 2000 and put Windows 95 on it. Unfortunately, Windows 95 was not getting getting very well along with this computer. It I kept getting a bunch of blue screens of death and. Um, and device errors, um, even though it was designed for 95, but um, don't worry, this does not change my opinion of Windows 95. It's still my all-time favorite. However, I already reformatted it, and we're now going to install the next best thing to Windows 95, Windows 98, second edition. And I'm going to document it right now. I've already got the disk in the drive. See, I did format it, didn't I? Okay, um, I've gotten very familiar with this screen. Okay. Just go to the scan disk. This, so far, I'm very impressed with this laptop. Um, like I said, it just wasn't getting a, getting along well with Windows 95 for some reason. But um, for one thing, I don't have any blank CDs with me anymore, and I. Don't, and this doesn't have a floppy drive, so it's hard to get files off my main computer there onto here. So I need the USB port to use a flash drive, and it just works better on 98. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. Okay, um, we're going to want to set it up in the Windows directory, um, obviously. Okay, it's going to prepare the directory now. Okay, um, I always go for custom because I'm a geek and I like it the way I want. <laughs> okay, don't need accessibility, accessories, um, I usually do all, but since it's kind of an older machine, I'll just select what I need. I'll take desktop wallpaper, take the games, mouse pointers, screen savers, uh, don't need the uh, address book. Don't need a, any communication stuff. I'll take some desktop themes. Uh, hate baseball. Yes. Uh, I'll take away dangerous creatures. I'll take away the jungle. Uh, no mystery. Sports definitely can go. Ugh. Uh, and the rest can stay. 
I'll just leave that as it is. Take all multimedia. No online services, they're pretty much useless these days. Uh, system tools, uh, I'll take, I'll take clipboard viewer. Uh, it's already FAT32, so I don't need the, the converter. Uh, I guess I'll take group policies. And that'll do it. Okay, I'll name it uh, Dell CPI. Probably this is the oldest Dell I've ever owned. Yeah. <laughs> okay, United States. Copy the files. Again, I'd prefer to use Windows 95 on here, but um, just wasn't getting along with this computer. And um, plus, if I, if I if I treat Windows 98 the right way, it'll treat me right. Okay, this might take a little while, so um, I'm gonna do a a jump cut and we will jump cut back whatever that means okay it's just now finishing setting setting the files up there's still a lot more to do i'll go ahead until it restart automatically now if you notice the screen's a little bit squished that's because on these older laptops the um these screens would only run at their native resolution um for instance this particular screen is a um is a uh is 1024 by 768 out but it if you try to run it at anything lower than that it'll either it'll probably be it it's typically in a very tiny little screen and the rest of the screen is just black however I think when I press a key combination I believe it's F in uh, 9 or something um, I forget now but um If you um, well, won that, but if you press that, it will expand into the uh, entire screen. However, it will be a little bit scrunched. So a lot of older computer games that are designed only for 640 by 480, which makes up my most of my library, might look a little but a little bit funny on here. Here's Windows 98, just about ready to go. Probably gonna ask me for user information. Okay. Billy Core Core Computer Services. And before I continue, I just want to show you how pristine this keyboard looks um, I mean look at the space bar um, there's no shine on it whatsoever so whoever originally owned this computer before my friend did they obviously um, did not use this laptop very often and it shows okay next uh, Weird noise, <laughs> but I'm okay. I'm gonna pause this and type the product key in. Okay, got all that information punched in there. And now I'm gonna proceed with the rest of the setup. Okay, it's setting up hardware.
Okay, it's gonna set up the PCMCIA bus. Uh, nope, I'm not using a network card or CD-ROM externally. No to that either. Okay. And I'm planning on doing a full review of this computer once I get everything up and running on here. It's a very well built laptop um, for it being, I guess, 15 years old. I think it's a 1997 model, I want to say. Okay, hurry up along here. I don't know why it can't just store it automatically. Oh yeah. Not sure what drivers it's going to pick up out of the box, but um got a CD um, of Windows 95 drivers. Um, I guess it'll work on here. I download Windows 98 drivers, which I can do, but turns out I'm out of blank CDs, so that's going to have to not happen. <laughs> okay, we're going through this again. That screaming. Oh wait a minute! Doc. If I can get the USB port on here working on Windows 90 yet, I can ju I can just use that USB floppy drive I got the other day and get the USB flash driver on here and just use my flash drive that will be very very nice something I wasn't able to do in 95 unfortunately there is a 95 driver but it's very 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 um, unstable right, Eastern Time today What's that noise? It's the C ROM. Huh? Okay, it's doing the last minute things. I've always liked that drum for some reason. I do not know why, but when it when I was younger and I used to install Windows 98 all the time on computers of that era <laughs> for some reason I'd always pretend I was playing those drums when this would show up by doing something like this on the computer it's probably why they didn't last too long <laughs> 
yeah this might be a little while as well so we'll pause and be right back okay looks like setup's pretty much done now so we're gonna restart it Pro more than likely the final restart and we will see what drivers it picks up and what it doesn't pick up Probably gonna be the monitor. It, yeah, yeah. Windows 98. You gotta always, de you can always depend on it when it's first boot to always pick up your monitor, <laughs> even if it's a laptop. Well, what do you know? We got sound. That works. day now. Okay. More than likely it did not pick up the video driver, which doesn't really surprise me, but um, I can take care of that, don't worry. Love this music. Okay, let's see what drivers need to be put in here. Okay, looks like we need the video driver, which about ex pretty much expected. Oh good, it looks like it picked up the USB. That will definitely come in handy. Okay, picked up the sound like I like we heard. TCMCIA. Uh, looks like pretty much all I need is the video driver. And which I have, um, as long as it works on 98. So, um, which it, it all to. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm in the middle of installing the video driver. And it did mention Windows 98 in the README, so apparently it, this will work. Okay. It's a Neo Magic Magic Graph 128 XD, and my battery's dying. Oh boy, this better this better be quick. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off and be right back so I can save battery. Okay, um. As you can see, it looks like the um, video driver installed successfully. So I'm going to um, shut this off for now um, and do a little bit more work on here. Full review coming later. For now, this is Billy Core signing off.